Uh, okay. There's a comment here. Can you please okay. post, give details, time and place, the confession hub you mentioned? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, 9 a.m. Okay. Um, um, if you review the video in Facebook, it's the website there. Pero ang gagawin ko kasi is uh, after this um, session, I know that this is in Facebook. Uh, meron pong time na start of the pandemic, I was celebrating mass. I was, I mentioned, I look at the comments. I, I look at the comments of the persons who attended or have seen it. So ilalagay ko po sa comment section yung website na yun. Okay? At saka yung schedule at saka yung aning dapat malaman. It's in Pasig, yung confession na po yan. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Palit-palit na po kami mga pare. Na actually, it's a university. It's a parking space. My, my, my university, University of Asia Pacific, Opus Day po yun. Mga pare ng Opus Day, palit-palit na kami because we understand this, this sacrament is so important. Aside from that, yung Holy Eucharist Parish, the Father Jeff Manlapig, sinabi niya sa akin, by appointment, you just go to the Facebook page and you message. Father Mel also allows it 4.30 to 5.30, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Okay? okay. Pero marami po yan, magbubukasan pa. So, uh, konting intay lang kasi kaka-GCQ lang. Thank you, Father. So, yes. if you are not a Catholic and you died, but had ah. a perfect confession and contrition, will you be ah. saved? Ah, okay. Yung, yung non-Catholic, or even a non-Christian, ang judgment po kasi ni God, every time, is the heart of man. Actually, even the Catholic. No? So, um, for the Catholics who have known, definitely, it's part of his basis of judgment. Meaning, the sacraments that we receive, the sacraments that we should have taken, the sacraments we have neglected, kasama po yun sa paghuhusga sa atin. Okay, for the person who doesn't have any sacraments, kasi po kadalasan sa Protestantism, Baptism lang, <laughs> Baptism and minsan may uh, ibang other blessings. No? Now, um, paano sila i-judge ni God? Si God na po siguro bahala. Karamihan doon, for the Christian, is their acceptance of Christ, okay, the way they live the natural law, they, the way they live the Bible, Okay, you need to try to read the mind of God, but He is the one definitely who will be the sole judge of the person. But it's a non Catholic, non Christian rather, uh, Muslim, how should judge ni God? Well, the natural law. Ani yung mga binigay niyang batas in the heart of man, in his heart. And then, pwede rin pumunta ng langit ang Muslim, pwede rin pumunta ng langit ang Protestante, pero nasa puso niya. Nasa puso niya, depende. Ang Catholic, how should he judge? Puso rin. Pero kasama sa pag-judge ng, ng, ng puso ng katoliko is, binigay ko na to binigay ko na yan. Ang dami nang binigay sa atin. Kompleto. No? Kung alam natin, yun nga lang. No? Kung alam natin, ito yung mga means, tapos we even refuse, kasama rin sa judgment natin. No? Kung hindi naman alam, God also excuses. Eh. Hindi alam na there's a need for confession pa lang. No? Maraming Catholics po, hindi alam. Okay. Father, I think yes. this question on FB is related. No? Hmm. Since civil marriages is not accepted in Catholic, does this mean to say they are living in sin and that they cannot receive communion? Uh, yung, yung si Pope Francis po, um, he doesn't want that terminology, yung living in sin. Okay? He was clear about it in several encyclicals. Okay? It was a, it's a term that is very, very judgmental, in fact. No? Kasi, when you say sin, he knows that it's wrong, first and foremost. Okay? You have a clear conscience. Okay? Um, ngayon, um, ano na po masasabi natin regarding that situation? Okay? Yung doctrine po muna ng simbahan. The church teaches, pag nabinyagan po, this is another topic eh, baka ibang, <laughs> ibang session to, pero uh, I love this topic called marriage. Pag nabinyagan po ang tao, he's baptized. He is in, with, and through Christ. He does, he should do everything in, with, through Christ. Kasi she is a son of God in Christ. Okay, including when he ties the knot and embraces somebody to be part of his or her life. Kaya yung kasal po sa kanya, isang, be, isang pwede lang. With, in, through Christ. With, in, through the church. Yun po yung tunay na kasal. Okay, may iba pong storya. Yung tinatawag na estado, the state. Dahil hindi naman lahat, katoliko, Nagsimula tayo sa ganun, state natin sa Pilipinas. May inimbento na tinatawag na civil marriage na parang kamukha nun. 
kamuka ng ginagawa natin. Because the matrimony really started from the womb of the church. No? So yung civil marriage, tapos katoliko ka, hindi po yung tunay na kasal para sa kanila. Okay? Ang problema po, maraming na hindi alam nun. <laughs> maraming na hindi alam nun. So, uh, mahirap po sabihin na they are living in sin nowadays. Ang magagawa po natin is to help persons know the true teaching. To help persons know the beauty of marriage. To help persons give, be given the testimony of what the sacrament of marriage is. No? And then, kung pang-communion sila o hindi, no? si Lord na po bahala. <laughs> Yun po yung suggestion ko. Kasi, um, otherwise, pwede po tayong maging judgment sa kanila. Kasi, pwede hindi nila alam. No? So, if we are able to reach out to that person, to that family, well and good, we could say and explain this. At pag alam nila, tapos they still refuse, well, in their conscience, they might be offending God already. Hindi po kasi sigurado kung alam talaga ng mga tao yun, honestly. That the true marriage that the baptized need is only in the church. Thank, thank you, Father. Is the mm-hmm. sacrament of confession one of the development of church doctrine? Does the apostles have a different form of confession during their times rather than the form we do today, which is mm-hmm. one-on-one with the priest? Yeah, that's complicated. That's complicated. Um, we know um, that the confession, verbal confession first appeared, as I mentioned earlier, by St. Irenaeus, no, year 180. No? And then later on, we also know that confession to the priest appeared in Church of Africa in St. Cyprian in year 251. We also know that monasticism in the 7th century, 8th century, developed really this doctrine, this way of confessing. We also know that there are other ways the way which the church lived penance. Na hindi ko highlight because uh, the church already has a way right now. Pero FYI, there was a time when penance was given in the collective talaga. Talagang kawawa yung sinner. Pinagsusuot ng sako and then ashes. Tapos kitang kita ng lahat. <laughs> so that's how they obtain penance. May kita ka ng lahat, alam yung ginawa mo. No? In, the, in the very early church, there are various forms. True. But what we know, what we know, as was handed to us, how it developed with wisdom as well, with all those contributions from, that I mentioned, we have come up with something that really is very good. Kasi ang, ang, ang uh, maganda rin sa confession, um, this is what I enjoy the most. No? As a pastor and also as a penitent. No? This is where the church really takes care of souls. Individually. Kasi ang yung shepherd, the good shepherd, takes care of each one. It's my personal take. No? He's not taking care of just group. But he knows each, each in the flock. So if, if a pastor managed to do that in the confession, our souls also are encouraged to live the spiritual life. Iba, iba. Pagka alam mo may talagang the Lord is taking care of you in a very personal way. No? Hindi lang a collective assembly which he does as well. No? So, yun yung um, beauty nito, talagang individual confession. Okay. Other question. 